I am Victoria and welcome to episode number two of Victoria's Knitting Podcast. Today we are going to be reviewing everything I have done in the past month, that month being February of 2024. I currently have three works in progress, two of them you might have seen them in my past video. So I'm just going to start with the first one, this one being the crochet floral square top by Chenda DIY. This is work in clear number 5 in the colorway 8176. Last time I had like two or three squares and well it looked like two or three squares showing together but now it's looking way more like a top. Pretty cute, pretty feminine and this is something fun to do. You can do it quite mindlessly However, lately I've been more into knitting, so this became like a secondary project to me because I was more excited to dive into my second project. So I just put this in a bag and I forgot about it. My second project is the Countdown Cardigan by Lily Kate Makes. Um, last time I showed you this project, I have already finished the upper left front and I have started working on the back when I run out of yarn and that's why I became working on the crochet top but once the yarn arrived surprise surprise the colors of the yarn were totally different I'm not sure if you were able to see how different they are in camera but this is the yarn I had left from my skirt and this is the new yarn I got to continue working on my cardigan if you saw my last episode my plan is to make a set like a skirt and a cardigan set so I can wear them together so I just brought the, the yarn to make the skirt and once I was sure that I love the skirt I decided to invest on the yarn to make the cardigan because this is quite expensive yarn this is Manasaluru White Sami on the colorway coal yes these are the same colorway but the difference is that this hand dyed yarn was dyed by different people in different places I thought that Manos del Uruguay would have some kind of standard to manage colors and to make sure that they look the same even though they were done, were dyed by different people, but it seems like they don't because these two yarns look totally different. I will show you another thing. I mean, I had to tear apart everything I had done because I tried adding the new yarn to the work in progress I had and it looked bad because the, the colors when knitted didn't look alike at all but I only left uh, the saddle shoulders knit with the original yarn so here you can see how different the colors are um, the new one is way more darker and not as variegated as the first yarn I bought so I was quite mad about it I'm not going to lie because I was really looking forward to have a set but well I will have to see once everything is finished maybe I will be able to wear my skirt and my cardigan together and it will look like they are the same set same color let's hope it works out at the end knitting this cardigan has taken me longer than i expected but the great thing is that this cardigan is not boring at all to knit it's a very technical pattern so you have to pay a lot of attention and also at the sides there is like this detail of this ribbon needle detail and it kind of breaks down with the monotony of having to knit plain, plain stockinette. It has been something fun to make. I don't think it's a mindless project because I know some people really like their stockinette projects 
and like turn off their brains and just need. So if you are looking for that kind of project, I don't think this is the one. But if you're looking for like a really classic cardigan uh, with not many details that is not boring to make, this is the one for you. I have really been enjoying knitting this. Well, apart from my issue with the yarn, this has been something pretty fun to make. I did finish the bottom band, that was the last thing I made. And I decided to mid-vlog this project because it was my first time working on a double knitted bottom band. And I would say it was a painful process. I didn't like working on that. I think it took me around a week to be able to knit the bottom band and I think like the entire body of the, the cardigan took me like maybe two, two and a half weeks so I, it seems something crazy to me because this looks so small but well as it was my first time it was hard for me to figure out how to do it but it was really well explained on the pattern but you know it was my first time doing it so of course it was hard and once i finished the bottom band it looked really tight and i was super worried uh, it was not all right so i decided to mid block the project and i'm really happy about it because I don't know if you can see everything, anything, but it looks fine. This is not pulling at any part of the cardigan, and I am happy about it. I did try this on and it looked pretty nice. Let's see if you can see something. But yes, it, it's falling like super pretty on me. And I am happy about it. I did size down on the um, recommended size because I didn't want to have something that oversized as it is the finish project. But I kind of measured the supposed uh, final measurements with some other cardigans I had and I figured out which will be like the best size for me. So I'm really excited. Now my following step is to start working on the sleeves and then finish this. And I'm really excited to see how it looks when it's done and how it will look next to my skirt. But I had to wait like for a whole day for this to dry. I got this out of my blocking mat just some minutes ago before filming this video and oh guys i can't be like an entire day without knitting i will like go crazy if i don't knit anything and as i mentioned you i forgot i had this top as a work in progress so i decided to start something new if you have been on this channel, you know this yarn. This is Argentinian cashmere. Uh, we got it on a craft shop that is pretty close to us. I live in Uruguay. I don't live in Argentina, but Argentina is like half an hour away from my house. So, well, we went there and we got this cashmere. It doesn't have any label, so I don't know what brand it is or the colorway. Um, but I can tell you that this is super soft. And I have been in love since my mom brought it because she was supposed to make herself like a sweater. But she tried to do it, but she didn't like what she was knitting and she didn't like the fabric she was getting with this yarn so she gave the yarn to me and I decided to do some swatches I did try, I did four of them so 
I was really responsible, like I did my gauge swaps before I started knitting. The first option I had thought about knitting was the leg steel I used that. I had previously tried knitting that pattern with some cotton, but I didn't like how it looked. So I was like, oh, maybe if I knit the, the tee with this cashmere, it will look great. But I didn't met gauge and I also didn't like that much how the, the fabric came out. So I thought, okay, maybe I can try doing something else. And I thought about the staple tea by New Waves Knitting. It is a basic tea which is made to measure. But then I thought again, girl, you don't like the fabric that this yarn makes. Why are you going to need to a tea? And yes, I was right. And also, this is cashmere. I live in a pretty hot and humid place. Like, summers are really hot here. And I wouldn't have been able to wear a tea made of cashmere. Like, I would probably end up in flames like one minute after I put this on. So I was like, no. And I decided to go for another swatch. And I decided to try the yarn held together, two strands held together and maybe to try to like... Yes, I know the zipper up, I think it's called uh, sweater by Petit Knit, the one that has the zipper that one, it's really nice, I saw that Jenny from Future Fiber knit that sweater and I kind of became obsessed with it but I also didn't like the fabric I was getting. So I was like, no. And that's when I saw that Petit Nate came up with a new pattern for another cardigan, which is called the Stir Jacket. And I was like, ooh, I like that one. Maybe I should try it. Like, and I got a pattern. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm one of those girls who likes Petit Nate. Sorry, I, I, I'm not different from anyone else. And I did gauge swatch for the project. I have two of them. Uh, one is knit with five millimeters, which is the recommended size. And the other one is knit with 4.5. I think this is the one with the 4.5 and this is the five millimeters. And I met gauge with the 4.5. And I have been realizing lately that I, usually need a little bit um, not tight, loose, sorry, my brain was not Englishing. Uh, I need looser than the rest of people, so I tend to go down on sizes, usually. I mean, I know this is not the recommended yarn, but it happened the same with the cardigan I'm working on right now. So yes, I started working on the cardigan yesterday. I only started with the back joke, but it seems like something really entertaining to make. I think that the hardest row is like the, the first and the second one because it's like when you are setting up the, the design. But once you set up the, like the first stitches to make the design it's super easy like i have been knitting this i know it's not that much but i haven't knit that much because i only did the gauge swatches yesterday while watching the Bahrain gp if you know you know um this is what i started like Yesterday afternoon and today I haven't made it that much because I was doing other stuff But this is seems like something really Entertaining to me and I like it. I can't wait to finish This cardigan to, to put all my heart into this other cardigan Something that I like about this cardigan is that it doesn't have like a knitted button band So that makes me happy also, something that 
I love about petit knit that it explains why so many people love petit knit is that she writes on like every single instruction um, this is just like the explanation of the pattern this is not the pattern in, so I can show you this and she also writes like how to make one right from the right, from the wrong side from the right side how to make one left from the wrong side and from the right side and I like that because I usually forget how those stitches are made and I don't like going around on YouTube to look for them because I then fall into the trap of the algorithm and I don't need anymore. That's something I really like about Petit Made Patterns because she always explains like all the stitches you have to make and why is she able to, to explain with words how to make one left so clear because it's more clear than watching some YouTube videos like I don't know this lady it's it's much cool like i get why everyone loves her and i'm just a girl i love her too that was everything i have in progress i haven't finished any objects on february let's hope next video i have the countdown cardigan finished and Let's see if I work on my crochet top or on my Esther jacket. I think the Esther jacket is going to be the project I'm going to be working on on March. But I'm really excited. I want to make a vlog knitting the Esther jacket and have some other content on this channel. On February, I did upload a F1 knitting video which is a weird combination of things but I did talk about what I would need for the current 2024 drivers of Formula 1 it was fun to make uh, I think some people thought it was fun which made me happy I want to upload more videos in this channel because I have so much fun making videos if you have any suggestion of something you would like me doing, I would love to hear it in the comments. I don't have anything else to add because I saw that in the past video, while I was talking about media and TV shows I watch while knitting, people decided to skip that part, so I decided that I'm not going to talk about it anymore. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to leave me your comments below, I will be really happy. If you want, you can also follow me on Instagram. I am as Victoria that's it. I usually post uh, every day or frequently on my stories telling you about how my needs are progressing or if they are I'm stuck there. Sometimes I post about also other of my interests, but usually it's all in eating um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe but that's everything until next time ciao